I'm not your typical artist, nor am I t your typical educator. Through entrepreneurial thinking and strategies, I'm an awesome mashup of the two. They say luck is where preparation meets opportunity. And in a way, I felt like I've been preparing my whole life for this opportunity. As an educator, I feel my role is to prepare students for the next chapter of their lives, for success, however they define it, for self-sufficiency and the ability to contribute. A recent Gallup poll states that only 13% of Americans think graduates are prepared for success in the workplace. As an educator, that's a pretty dismal number. But I have a solution, a way that I think we can add value to the educational experience, and that's through student entrepreneurship. Through my creative career and educational research, I've uncovered what I think are the three most essential building blocks to student entrepreneurship and student success. Those three building blocks are creativity, collaboration, and collision. If we revisit the roots of our country, we see that it was built on ambition, drive, confidence, ambition, essentially entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is risky. It requires confidence, conviction. It requires creative thinking, collaboration, and the collision of ideas. Students across the country are embracing this idea of entrepreneurship. There are over 500 programs already in place across the country. A recent global entrepreneurship study stated that 65% of young people want to start their own business. That's 23,400 of current UTA students. That's a big number, a big demand a wonderful opportunity, an entrepreneurial opportunity, one that fills a void and provides a solution. But before I talk, touch on those three topics and how we can address this educational opportunity, I want to tell you about a young dude with a lot of passion, a lot of creativity, and ambition, but without a, without a strategy. I woke when I was 13 one morning with a desire to make, to create something with my hands. At that point on, I knew I was going to be an artist. As a teenager, I made the typical dark, gloomy paintings, blood, eyeballs. I was going to be the next Picasso. I knew success was right around the corner. Despite my creative instincts, and certainty of success, I took a riskier path and became a business major. Halfway through, I realized I wasn't following my calling, my passion, the thing that I felt I was meant to do. So I became an art major. And since I maintained a successful creative practice, gallery exhibitions, gallery representation, national exposure, and including over 20 international and corporate collections. I learned along the way. It's something I didn't learn through my education, but I learned how to harness the entrepreneurial spirit, capitalize on my strengths, seize opportunity, and increase visibility. I wanted to share these insights and knowledge with young creatives. In 2010, I entered academia. In 2012, with the help of my boss and mentor, Robert Hauer, I developed and launched Entrepreneurship in the Arts, an initiative whose mission was to help students turn their ideas into actions. During the last three years, I've seen students harness their strengths and their knowledge entrepreneurially. I've seen success from this already. Students have launched their own businesses, entered grad school, had exhibitions. They're following their passions and their dreams. I've learned and since 
that if you give direction to desires, dreams, passion, knowledge, experience, success, however you define it, is within reach. It's possible. People often say, Matt, you're so creative. I don't have a creative bone in my body. I can't even draw a stick figure. Creativity is an asset, a strength, a trait. It's one that is within everyone's reach. Artists just know how to utilize it more effectively. Recent surveys said 71% of college graduates wish they had creativity taught as a course. 85% of them thought creative thinking was essential to critical problem solving in their careers. And 82% wish they had more exposure to creativity. Another survey recently stated, when asked leading CEOs what they valued most, it was hands down creativity, the ability to solve problems, come up with new ideas, and find solutions. Tina Selig, Stanford professor and author of Ingenious said, creativity is at the heart of invention. Einstein says, creativity is having fun. Is knowledge having fun? Henri Matisse said, creativity takes courage. Creativity helps unlock new potential, new ideas, new perspectives. It can help solve problems in our globe, in our environment. In 2016, with the help of my colleagues in the Art and Art History Department, we launched the Studio Create Tech Challenge, a university-wide startup competition with the objective of helping students harness their ideas and collective potential by turning those ideas into actions. Over the course of six weeks, cross-disciplinary teams developed ideas created business models, crafted executive summaries, and delivered pitches. The results were amazing, especially consider their previous exposure to entrepreneurship. Most of them had none. During the last six of these workshops, I invited local entrepreneurs to come and hear the pitches and provide some critical feedback. Three of those said, these ideas are great, Matt so great that we would even invest in these ideas. How was this achieved? Through creative thinking. Through thinking outside of the box. Through thinking differently. Collaboration is more important than ever. Working together with shared goals is more essential than ever. Steve Anderson, educator, said, alone we are great. Together we are brilliant. Charles Darwin states, those who have learned to effectively adopt and collaborate have prevailed. Collaboration is an essential component to success. Success is rarely seen in isolation. And I've seen successful collaboration through my classes and through this Studio Create Tech Challenge. It gives, it provides an opportunity for growth and that shared perspectives, knowledges, and experiences are way greater than the sum of the individual parts. As an artist, I've had experience in collaboration throughout my creative career. This past year, I met Jackson Eccles, who was a grad student here at UTA. He's a photographer. I really responded to to the results in his process and shared the interest in place. I came to Jackson and I said, let's collaborate. What happens when we mash up painting and photography? What could come out of that? We started working together organically. The results were pretty amazing and we developed a series called Mimesis which is the imitation of nature. 
and had the opportunity to exhibit the work at Conduit Gallery this past summer. At the end of the exhibition, most of these works had sold. Another great example of successful collaboration was recently highlighted in a 60-minute segment about St. Benedict's, an inner city prep school, where three quarters of its students come from low-income low housing or households. At St. Benedict's, which is in New Jersey, students run the school. They're arranged into groups and compete for top grades. They coordinate schedules, set up events. This seems like a crazy idea, right? Chaos ensues, but the opposite happens. Success happens. 98% of those students graduate. 85% go on to receive a college, their college diplomas. That's a pretty great success story. What happens when you collide artists, business majors, engineers, scientists, and education majors. I can tell you what happens. Synergy, ideas expanded, knowledge widened, relation, relationships built, and opportunities seized. Here are two students that competed in the Studio Creative Challenge. Marlene and Shaza. Here you see them in one of the workshops, Business Model Generation, where they were coming up with a model from their idea. Best friends since high school. One an art major, the other a finance major. One from Brussels, the other Kuwait. They came from very different or diverse backgrounds, knowledge base, and experiences. But together they shared a passion, and that was for fragrances. Together they created Merchaz, an essential oils line targeting high income or high, high net individuals. This would not have happened without the opportunity to collide at the Studio Create Tech Challenge. By the way, this, this challenge is still, uh, st still ongoing. We have identified the finalists. On an April 29th, in the Startup Lounge, they will be competing for over $10,000 in prizes and startup funding. Creativity, collaboration, and collision are essential building blocks for student entrepreneurship and student success. They give the students an opportunity to harness their assets utilize their strengths, knowledge, and experiences in their professional lives. As an artist, as an educator, as an entrepreneur, the sum of who I am is greater than its individual parts and was achieved through creativity, collaboration, and collisions. Student entrepreneurship needs to be part of our curriculum. It needs to be part of a cross-disciplinary opportunity where students can engage with one another, collide with one another, create with one another, and achieve something that's greater than they could have on their own. In 2015, President Obama, during National Entrepreneurship Week, issued a proclamation to Americans asking us to revisit our roots as a country of dreamers and doers. Let's revisit our roots as a country of dreamers and doers. Let's harness this together. Let's seize this opportunity together. This has already been started across this campus here in the Arts Department, Business College of Business, the College of Engineering, in the Startup Lounge but I need your help. I need the, your help to expand this further across the university and community. I need your help to embrace this hope, this opportunity to get students creative thinking, to get students to create, think creatively, 
to provide opportunities for cross-disciplinary engagement and opportunities to collide with one another. Thank you for this opportunity.